In our last problem, we're going to do something a little different. Instead of looking at net present value or present value, future value, we're looking at two different savings alternatives. Here we're offered a choice of two savings plans. The first will pay 7% compounded semi-annually. The second will pay 6.85% compounded weekly. We want to know which alternative is better. Now, ordinarily, we'd want 7% above 6.85%. The higher the rate, the better. However, the 6.85% is compounded weekly, 7% is only compounded semi-annually. The more frequent the compounding, the better off we are. So what we have to do here is figure out which dominates. Is it better to get the 7% compounded less frequently or the 6.85% compounded more frequently? In order to do that, we have to use something called equivalent or effective annual rates. The effective annual rate just converts the interest rate to what it would be equivalent to on an annual compounding basis. In order to do effective annual rates, we want to go to this interest conversion module. So we do second interest conversion. And now it's going to put in the non percent. This is just like the cash flow worksheet. This keeps the old values in there until we overwrite them. Now, if you want to, you can clear it out. Second, clear work, and I'll clear out the worksheet. Or in this case, you can just overwrite what you're going to be using. Our nominal percentage, we're going to start with the first one, is 7%. Let's reduce 7, enter, go down. And now this EFF stands for effective rate. That's what we're trying to solve for. But we can't solve for that yet until we know how many compounding periods. So we have to go down once more. And now we see the compounding periods per year. Semi-annual means we're compounding twice per year. So we want to put 2 into the compounding periods per year. Enter. And now go back up to our effective screen. Now that we're here, we want to just press Compute, and we see that that is equivalent to earning 7.12% on an annual basis. How about the 6.85% compounded weekly? Again, we want to go into our interest conversion. Our nominal percentage is now 6.85. Enter that. Go down twice until we're at the compounding periods. Weekly is 52 peri weekly periods per year, so we want to set that up as 52, enter, go up, and now be careful, this is our old answer, we haven't computed the new one yet, so until you press compute, you won't have your answer. Our 6.85% compounded weekly is equivalent to about 7.09% on an annual basis. 7% compounded semi-annually was a little bit higher at 7.12. 7.12% is better than 7.09%, so we'd prefer to get 7% compounded semi-annually.